Thought I'd finally show off the tree frogs here. I'm trying to see if I can show you his uh underneath his chin. Maybe. There we go. You see how dark that is? That's how you can tell it's a boy. They got like a five o'clock shadow and someone said they have like a dark dot, so I was looking for dark dots. That's not the case. They have a five o'clock shadow. Um but yeah, so this is so-called James. He's now they each got in their own little patterns on their backs. And depending on where they sit in here, they would change from a darker gray to and this guy's got some green on him now. He's turning a little bit green, I just noticed. Interesting. Some little cows have green ones. There he goes. But they go from a darker to lighter gray usually in here. This one over here is Chip. It was so named because he had a little chip on his neck or his mouth. There we go. He does have a dark chin. It's not as dark and he really doesn't croak as much as James does. So there's the two boys, and this is the first one I got way earlier this year. This is so-called Frida. She's just a really big girl, and she's got a very can't really see her better. She's in her light phase right now. We have one more in here, Dottie. Dottie is called Dottie for a reason. She, she's got a really pretty back pattern, what I call like a painted paint splash pattern. Let me show you something on Dottie. Mm -hmm. Don't really want to bother her too much, but Dottie in particular, but I think I want to grab her for this. The underside of her chin. I try not to handle them. I only handle them when I get them out to clean. Let's see if we can get this to focus now. Uh, is it going to focus? Is it? She's going to jump. <laughs> well, Dottie has some just darker dots underneath her chin. Just some tiny little dots. And they're just, that's why I call her Dottie, but, uh, yeah, right there she is. So, Dottie has got a very nice painted pattern, like Chip does. Yeah, the camera died, but there's Dottie and Chip. And down below, and camera, is James. And James has got a pattern similar to Frida here, who looks like she wants to jump off. But yeah, these are the four tree frogs I have. I would like to get in like a big exoterra because as you can see, this is very simple. They just have a log and a big water dish. And it, you know, I got a paper towel to keep it humid in here. They eat crickets and everything, and, uh, well, they eat crickets. That's mainly their main diet. They don't really eat much else. I've tried feeding them worms and slugs, but they kind of just, uh, they tried to get them, but they couldn't really pick them up with their mouths very well, so. <laughs> yeah. Say bye-bye, tree frogs.